extinguish, then what will happen to our planet? The answer to this question is pure and simple. The Earth will die, and it will die an agonizing death. But don't worry, we will not witness it, as fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, the human race will become extinct long before this event. So why not try extinguishing the sun sooner? What will happen if we pour a huge bucket of water on it? Generally speaking, what can extinguish the sun? If we take all the sunlight that reaches this planet every day, we will have the energy equivalent to 170 trillion kilowatts. This energy would keep humanity going for thousands of years. But this is nothing compared to the energy dispersed by the sun, which is 2 billion times as much energy. Where is it dispersed? Into outer space. Just imagine, if people could accumulate all this energy, its daily amount would guarantee us millions of years of carefree life. Even now, if we focused on trapping solar energy, we could forget about paying our utility bills. But let's get back to reality. According to relativity theory, if a body gives off energy, its mass diminishes. Thus, the sun, like a runner on a treadmill, is losing its mass by the second, roughly 4 million tons a second. In a nutshell, the sun is extinguishing because it is burning. Or, speaking more accurately, it produces energy through thermonuclear fusion. If the sun had the mass of the Earth, it would burn out in 50,000 years. But this is just another if. Well, as a matter of fact, the mass of the sun is nearly 350,000 times that of the Earth. Therefore, burning 173 billion tons a day, it can burn for 10 billion years. With half of this lifespan being already over, our descendants will have another 5 billion years to come up with a plan on how to prevent this frightful cataclysm. Someday, the sun will run out of hydrogen fuel and fade away. But we won't be there to see the spectacle. It's too much waiting. So, it crossed my mind that it would be interesting to consider the possibility of pouring a bucket of water on the sun. In other words, to extinguish it ahead of time. Firstly, it will not be an easy task to find a bucket of appropriate size. Hardly feasible, if at all. However, let's assume we've got the bucket and have even discovered a way to deliver it straight to the sun. What will happen next? An accurate answer to this question can be given by an astrophysicist with special software, since nothing like that has ever happened in nature and hardly ever will. Normally, when something burns on Earth, it burns through combustion, which requires three components – fuel, air, and heat. If we pour water on burning objects, it extinguishes the fire by forming a coat of water on top of the fuel. But what is different about space conditions is that there is no air there. Water can't stop thermonuclear reactions in the sun, no matter how much water we take. The sun will not be extinguished as long as its fusion reactions continue. In short, the sun can burn water. So, even if we pour a gigantic bucket of water on it, the star will only get hotter and six times brighter. Water contains 89% oxygen, and the sun's density is about 1.5 times that of water. Therefore, the volume of water that equals the volume of the sun will have 0.71 times the mass of the sun. That will result in the birth of a new star with a weight two times that of the present sun, and composed of 48% hydrogen, 14% helium, and 37% oxygen. Even if we had the possibility to pour a huge bucket of water on the sun, fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to see it extinguished. Anyhow, watching the birth of a new star bigger than the sun is a doubtful pleasure. What do you think? We look forward to your comments. Also, if you liked the video, push the like button and subscribe to our channel. There's lots of fun stuff ahead.